हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप दोषी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वाल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सेंट्रिफिकल पंप सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन और दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप सो कंटेंट आर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप एंड वर्किंग ऑफ द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप फॉलोइंग आर द स्पेयर पार्ट्स और स्पेयर्स ऑफ द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप सो वन इज इम्पेलर केसिंग सक्शन पाइप विथ स्ट्रेनर एंड फुटवॉल डिलीवरी पाइप एंड डिलीवरी वॉल सो दिस इज द स्केच एक्चुअली सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस दिस इज द पंप एज वी हैव स्टडीड दिस इज द इम्पेलर दिस इज द केसिंग ओके नाउ वन थिंग दिस केसिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ अ हार्ड कास्ट विच हैज अ कास्ट आयन ऑफकोर्स दिस इज नॉट अ स्पेरिकल वन दिस हैज अ सर्क्युलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इन विच द इम्पेलर इज रोटेटिंग वेन वी स्टार्ट वेन इट इज कपल टू द मोटर एंड वेन वी स्टार्ट द मोटर दिस इम्पेलर विल स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग बट मेन थिंग इज दैट दिस इम्पेलर इज नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रिक टू द केसिंग दिस केसिंग सर्कल एंड इम्पेलर सर्कल आर नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रिक टू इच अदर इट इज एक्सेंट्रिक to increase the volume uh, to accommodate water in this okay now there is a suction pipe okay there is a suction pipe of course very rarely this suction vacuum gauges are used for the higher capacity pumps or higher kilowatt motors and hps of uh, um, pumps are uh, mounted with this suction vacuum gauge to observe what vacuum is generated how much Uh, with how much pressure the water will be taken in and so on okay this is the sump in which there is a water or a liquid and uh, this is the foot wall and this is a strainer so what for strainer is strainer is to avoid entry of the material which is floating there or which can be sucked in due to the higher suction volume foot wall is a wall which is a one way opening wall that is it will open only in the upper direction now center line of the impeller and the uh, surface of the sump water is called as a suction head so this is a suction head then center line of the impeller to the uh, center line of the delivery pipe is called as a delivery head and this total is counted as a total head now this pipe is connected to this casing from the back side the dotted line indicates that the pipe is not visible in the sectional view or in this view it is from the back side which is opening at the center here this is the dotted line shown for that then there is a delivery pipe delivery pipe or discharge pipe which takes the water or takes the liquid from the casing to the overhead tank so this is a delivery wall and again delivery pressure gauge as i told you if there is a higher delivery uh, of the water higher quantum of water is to be delivered or higher at higher pressure it is to be delivered there is necessity to observe this pressure that is pressure uh, at delivery and vacuum pressure so that there will not be any uh, pipe cracks or uh, blasting of the pipe should not take place or breakage of the pipe should not take place or breakage of the joint okay should not take place now initially when we start the motor which is coupled with this pump or sometimes now it is mono block pumps are also there there are direct motor is at another side of this casing when this impeller will start rotating at higher rpm maybe starting from 1440 rpm to higher rpm again it will start rotating which will generate the suction or vacuum in this area in the suction pipe area so it will generate because it will start splashing if water is present here it will start splashing the water around the case, around it and uh, it will be thrown away you can say in crude language and it will be stored here and it will go on building the head delivery head and at one time it will reach to this step and this stage and it will start delivering the water okay till the pump is on or the till the motor is running so now the water uh, when it starts uh, rotating at higher rpm the suction or the low pressure will be generated here which will be lesser than 
the atmospheric pressure which is working on the water level of the sump. So, this water through the strainer will enter the duct suction pipe which will make this foot wall to open or wall to open and water will start take, uh, flowing in the suction pipe. That water will be thrown away, it will enter through the eye of the impeller and it will be splashed here uh, which will go on building the head and it will be delivered to the overhead tank. Then what for delivery wall is? Okay. So, now if unfortunately the foot wall is not working, that means if the foot wall is not closed when the pump is not working, what will happen? The water or the liquid present in this casing above this head and the water or liquid present in the suction pipe will be uh, again will return again back to the sump. So, this will be full of air, this will be full of air and when you will start the pump, what will happen? No water will be sucked in and it will not be splashed. So, the pressure in the pipe air, air present in the pipe and the pressure atmospheric air, uh, pressure on the uh, water sump level will be same. So, there will not be any flow of water through float wall or through, or through the strainer. So, it will not take the water in. So, there will not be water discharge or water delivery through the overhead to the overhead tank. So, in that case, in that case, there are two provisions. One, in some pumps, there is an opening here which is closed with some uh, threaded knob. Okay. There it is closed with a threaded knob. So, uh, particularly in agriculture area, what is done? They will open up this wall, open up this uh, clo uh, tap, and they will start pouring the uh, uh, water or liquid from here. Continuous water will be flowing through this till it will be full of water. The suction pipe and casing will be full of water and at that time the pump will be started. So, as the air is removed from the uh, suction pipe, it will start sucking the water or it will start taking the water in. Simple example, when the fuel in the fuel tank of your two wheeler is totally used, there, will no, there is no fuel in the uh, fuel tank, what happens? Uh, afterwards, if, if you fill the petrol or fuel in the fuel tank or petrol tank, uh, the vehicle will not start because there is a air present which is trapped in the pipe uh, connecting to from uh, uh, overhead, uh, the petrol tank to the engine or to the carburetor and that air will not allow to enter the fuel in the carburetor due to that air trapped in. Same case will happen either uh, here, here the air will be trapped and it will not allow to water enter in this. So, what usually we do? We take out the pipe in case of fuel pump or fuel uh, uh, pipe and we will take out the air from that and then we will again fit it to, to the carburetor. Then the uh, machine or the uh, machine, uh, bike machine will immediately start. Similar case is there, if you fill the water from here in the casing and the suction pipe, it will remove the air and the pump, when you start the pump, it will start working. That is one provision. Another provision is there is a delivery wall. So, when you stop the pump, you immediately after stopping of course, you immediately close the wall, you immediately close the wall, so that the water column in this area above the delivery wall will be present in the pipe in the delivery pipe. So, before starting the pump, what you will do? You will open the wall, you have, you have to open the wall of course and that water will enter the casing and the suction pipe which will remove the air trapped in and immediately you have to start the pump. So, that the water will be, uh, uh, water will enter through the suction pipe and it will be discharged. But this care is must that whether there is a leakage or not, whether there is a wall working or not, foot wall is working or not, when you start the pump, before that this wall must be opened, this wall must be opened. Otherwise, what will happen? If there is no uh, air trapped in, if there is no air trapped in and if you start the motor when the valve is closed, this casing or this pipeline may burst due to high pressure of water present in this after filling this 
case. So, that care you have to take while operating this delivery valve. Before starting the motor or pump, you must open this delivery valve. Then only it is a safe for working. So, now you, you may ask what for these things are. So, this is all called as a priming. Priming of a pump. Sometimes you may be asked what is priming. So, this is the priming that is before starting the pump, filling the water or removing the air trapped in is called as a priming. Now, imagine about this pump, what should be or what may be the losses taking place while operating the pump. See, in case of reciprocating pump, I told you that piston cylinder arrangement have no leakages or no losses or very minimum losses are taking place. So, those are efficient pumps regarding building the pressure. Now, in this case, can you tell me what may be the losses of the uh, during working of this pump. Okay. So, now as there is no such part which is uh, leak proof or like a piston cylinder arrangement. So, there may be certain losses taking place, energy losses taking place in this area or there are again different couplings that and different pipes are connected to each other. So, there also some losses may take place. If there is a leakage in this joint, there will be air trapped in. So, all these things are there. In case of reciprocating, we need not to go for priming of the pump, whereas here it is needed to go for priming of the pump. So, that is not required in case of reciprocating pump. But in this case, in the case of reciprocating pump, you will get higher discharge as we are rotating, uh, we are making the uh, impeller to rotate at higher RPM, there will be higher discharge, but due to losses and uh, some limitations of this pump, you will not get higher head from this. So, usually if you observe while using the centrifugal pumps, we will keep this suction head very less. 